Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing? I hope you're all doing wonderful. In this tutorial, we're going to develop a Easter egg hunting game. Easter Bunny has hidden eggs in various places, in random places, and our job is to find those eggs and gain scores. Let's see how we can make this. If you're not familiar with what Easter egg hunting is, watch this. The bunny is hidden. Yes! Ready? When you find all the eggs, we share them out each. Danny Dog has found an egg under a plant pot. <laughs> Susie Sheep has found one in a bush. Pepper has found an egg in a tree. George has found one in a bucket. Finished! Welcome to Kitty Code Ninja Tutorial. This is Eddie and this is your place to learn to code and have fun. Okay, let's dive right in by giving a good name to our project Easter Egg Hunting and then we're gonna start with the cat except we're going to delete it, bye! And now we need eggs. Um, there is an egg in the scratch but it's not colorful so i'm gonna take this balloon and i'm gonna duplicate it i'm duplicating only three because it's just for the purpose of demo but the more eggs you have is gonna be more interesting of course uh, those are a little big 20 or like make it 30 And the same for this one and this one. So I make them smaller. Uh, so these are not yet looking like egg, but I can go to customs. First of all, I want three colors. So for the first one, I keep blue for the second one. I delete everything except yellow and for the third one I delete ex everything except red. If you wanted more eggs you can later on change these colors. Now to make it like an egg I'm gonna delete this part and this part and this part and rotate same here and same here we can add a bit of pattern to it so that it's more easterly The same here and here. Oops, what did I do? All right, good enough. We have three eggs, three eggs now. We also need two backdrops. So for the backdrop, I'm gonna choose this forest. And I'm also choosing another backdrop for when we are game over, which can be hmm, maybe this one. Let's also add a lot of sprites to cover the eggs because we want to hide eggs, right? So we need to have more stuff there. I'm gonna choose a burr, the, the first backdrop. I'm also gonna choose um, a butterfly. You can just pick as many as you want, take your time, but I'm just gonna be quick. Maybe clouds. All right, just put them in the reasonable locations. 
Now it's time to write the code. So let's write the code for the X. We start by when, start clicked. Since Easter Bunny has hidden the eggs in random locations, I'm going to say to the egg to go to random position when the start is clicked. And then I want to keep hiding and showing the eggs. So I go to looks. And since I'm saying I want to keep, so I go to controls and take a forever. And then I would say from the looks, hide and show with a weight in between. Uh, so one one second wait after show and after between hide and show we need one more wait also except that we don't want all of them to be one second in so that the eggs are not appearing all at the same time instead we say pick random number between one to let's say seven so what happens is that this egg would go to a random location hide itself and then waits a random number and appears just like this one more thing that we need to do is keep track of the scores when we are collecting eggs so i'm going to create a variable i'm naming it score and since these eggs are appearing forever we want to have a finish time for when we assume all the eggs are collected we keep track of it using score so i'm gonna say Every time I click on the sprite, which is egg, I'm gaining a score. So on the control, I say when mm, I'm looking for when this sprite is clicked. So on the event, when this sprite is clicked, ink only if so let's go to control i'm gonna take an if else condition if score is less than something let's say i want to collect five eggs if the score so from the variables i'm dragging score is less than five let's play a sound start sound pop and also change score by one change score by one so every time i can catch an egg or find an egg i'm gaining one point and if score is more than five or equal to five in that case i want to finish the game and I'm doing it by broadcasting a message. So on the event, I'm taking a broadcast new message since we never created a message. Finished. So broadcast finished. Now that I've broadcasted finish, I'm going to backdrop and I add an event when I receive finished from the looks go to switch backdrop to hearts 
and play sound win mm, we need to bring it here sound I'm gonna add the sound win so going back to code play sound win and stop all the script because we're done 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 event it should be on the control so stop everything since we are in the backdrop i'm gonna add when start clicked go to so like my initial setup is i want to be on backdrop forest and also i want the score variable to be zero set score to zero now we are pretty much done with the code except that we need to copy the code that we wrote for the egg to other eggs as well which is done simply by dragging the code on top of this we do it the same for this and this egg and this egg so let's test it I play start oh that's not good it went to backdrop 2 so let's go to here uh, is here I put next backdrop what's wrong with me I should put switch backdrop to forest other than this I think should be okay okay so score is zero backdrop is correct just look at the eggs any egg that appear I click oops it's pretty much difficult not so easy not so easy it's really fun though yay we won i hope you liked this game if you did give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe share with your friends and support my channel so that i can create more content for you it really helps by the way, put in the comment what do you think we can do to make this project more advanced. Like, yeah, just comment below any opinion that you have, any great idea. I would like to see them. Thank you so much and see you next week.